So you guys were one. I'm hearing all you guys. You guys were one of the theme song shortened. So here we go. This girl reviews movies, games, and books. Sometimes she plays them. So does that. And when she does it with the cat, does that make her crazy? Does that make her crazy? Probably. <laughs> so, it's shorter. There you go. <laughs> Crazy Cat Lady Gamer Reviewer, or Martha Butler, does not own the any trailers or pictures. I use them under fair use. Educational for edu and entertainment purposes. Hi everybody, Martha here. So, t today we're doing... Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. Now, some of these characters I uh, might not remember their names because some of them are kind of hard to pronounce. I'll do my best. Um, but I don't want to watch the movie because the movie sucked. <laughs> Again, and especially since the movie did just a bad job as... Um, representing these characters, I um, don't and and not caring how old they are, you know, stuff like that. So I'm gonna try my best to remember their names, but I can't do any um, promises. So, this um, is about a 12-year-old boy, not 18, 12-year-old boy, who is named Percy Jackson, and he um, has um, the, Lex the De Lexia, which is, um, the, which is where you see letter, where you see words backwards, basically. He has a heart, makes you have a hard time reading. And he is going to um, a travel a school that's for troublemakers. If you get like expelled too many times for schools, you get sent to this type of school. And his best friend's Grover, and he's a, a that's a, um, a field trip for um, that the longer about like Greek mythology and his um, teacher, Mister um, Mister D. Um, and, um, he also has his math teacher there, Mrs., um, his math teacher there, and event, and so, she keeps on, like, having to deal with a bully that keeps on, like, pu pushing him and pushing him, and he, um, uses water to, he had, as a notice that he's doing it, but he uses water to attack her and um that alerts um his math teacher who is a, f a fury or if you don't know who a fury is it's a half a vulture half old lady and to and it attacks him and um his um um greek mythology teacher or like a bunch of myth mythology bunch of mythology like latin teacher ish um, like frozen pen, which ends up being a sword, to use on his math teacher, and he um, uses it on her. And but everybody, all the other t um, all the other students get like hit with like some miz that makes them forget what they just saw and stuff like that. And um, they end up having a new um, math teacher, and, and they act like that's their old that, that was always their math teacher and stuff like that so um a couple weeks go by and um percy still is like wondering what the heck happened with his math teacher and stuff like that and he goes and um he, he gets um sent home eventually with school ended and grover goes with him on the bus and he um and, and he thinks, uh, and Gorber thinks that, um, like, some weird old, other old ladies were trying to talk to him and told him to, like, 
keep walking with him. But he eventually, like, ditches Grover and gets home. And, um, find the stepdad, who's not a great stepdad, he's a bad stepdad. And he ends up, like, um, Gabe. He, like, he's, like, gambling and stuff like that. And he, like, smells bad and stuff like that. He's, like, a slob, basically. And takes advantage of, um, t um Percy's mom. And, uh, Percy and him end up going on a camping trip. And she ends up, like, telling him about stuff about, about his real dad, like, saying his real dad went off and died at, went and got golf lost at sea and stuff like that. And, um, this is when, and Grover, like, finds them, and yet he's, um, no longer looks like Grover. Like, Grover before looked like, um, some kid who had, um, hold, had, um, full, had holders. And had a can, like canes to like to help the disguise what he really was. So, and he's actually a satyr, and he um ends up getting the car with them. But um, they're being chased by a minotaur, the same one that's in the um, the the labyrinth. In Creed, and being chased by and being and chasing them down, until um they get to like a forest thing, breaks down breaks the car, and um like leads them and takes Percy's mom and but she's like disappearing before the um, the mentor and um Percy ends up using water to kill kill the minotaur and. Um, this is, and he ends up, he also ends up knocking out, and he ends up, like, waking up after a couple of days, after, like, I think a two days or a day, he knocked out, and Annabelle, Annabeth, I think it's how you say her name, is, um, the one that, who, like, helped, to help to care of him. Her mom is, um, the dog, her mom is, um, Athena. Who is the god of war and the god of wisdom and stuff like that? The goddess of both those two things, and she um helped and she's been there for a while. She's been there since she was seven, and stuff like that. And um, we see um we see his sign is a Latin teacher. Who ends up being um, Hercules' um, teacher, the one who taught Hercules all he knows. And also we have um, the god of um, of um, parties and, um, and beverages, <laughs> alcohol, beverages. Um, i trying to remember how to say his name. Um, Okay, Dion and um, Dionysus, which is the god of um, like I said, he's mostly the god. God, and right here on the internet, it says who likes to party. <laughs> god is a pleasure. So, if you want um a Fantasia, in the during the Greek mythology part, he's that little fat guy that who's riding um the donkey. That he's that guy. So the little fat guy. So um. Anyway, um, he's there, he's, he's the camp counselor, and the way they hide the matter of fact that he's supposed to be the god of alcohol, basically, is that he keeps on ordering sodas, but if we know Dionysus, that we know that soda really has, so, <laughs> so, um, and they explain to him that, they explain everything to, um, Percy that he... It's probably he is a god. He is a son of one of the gods, and he. But they don't know who yet, and that's and they don't know which one yet. But though, you probably can guess the fact that a lot of his stuff has to do with water. That he is probably you know who, but you probably can figure out which one he is. So um, but they have not figured out which god that he is 
uh, who's his, who's his mom or dad. So, um, they don't know, so that he's gonna go into, um, the minors, like, the, the not, like, the non perishable camp part of the god, and, um, so he's basically a, um, a demigod on in this in these books they call them half half bloods um godlings and stuff like that so um the ones who like the one who and uh, he ends up like learning about stuff like how to fight stuff like that from a guy f named i think it's zach who Luke, Luke, Luke is the one. So, and in the mo in this book, it's really hard to tell that he's the one that ends up betraying because ends up betraying um, Percy in the book. In the movie, so I, like, but since I'm not gonna rewatch the movie, in the movie they make it so obvious that he's gonna betray him. Like, he, so that's all I gotta say about that, really. So, in the book, it's not so obvious like tell you to like the very end of the book that it has to be him because grover and uh annabeth are really really good friends and they would not betray him so the only one that would be that would, that's left would be luke so and luke is the son of um per um of the god of messenger um Who's the god of messenger in Greek mythology? Hermes. There's a summary. Hermes is his is his is his dad. This is dad. So that's who on um, Luke's dad is. And um so eventually um Percy gets accused of stealing um Zeus's um lightning bolt when um <coughs> So, um, so in order to stop, they find out that Percy is actually the son of Poseidon. If you don't, then Poseidon's the god of water, of sea, and Zeus wants his lightning bolt back. And so they think since, um, the gods are in New York, they think that Percy's the one that is still in it since he lives there. And so in order to stop war, like, Basically, um, the sea and the sky fighting each other and destroying all the Earth. Because these gods, just like in the Greek mythology books, don't care what happened to um, us innocent people. Innocent bystanders at all. And stuff like that. So, he has to go and get the lightning bolt. He, they think um, that... Hades has it, so they're gonna go to the underworld. So they have to head to um, Hall head, head to um, Hollywood because that's where they that's where um, the that's where the underworld is because everything is now for Greek mythology now is in America for some reason. So um, they go down to the, in the, but on the way there they have to deal with. Um, Medusa, Echidna, and um, one of her kids. Um, also, they get seduced by um, some people. Uh, um, get seduced to stay in um, like a casino that makes you want to stay down there, stay in the casino forever. It's basically, and so he tr gets there. But he also has to deal with um, Ares, the god of war. Which doesn't even get mentioned in the movie. And he is the one who has the lightning bolt. He sneaks inside the bag. So when he gets to the underworld, um, Percy ends up like finding out thinking ends up like finding out the lightning bolt was with him it was with him all our time ever since he bummed his Ares. Cause um you can feel it once he got that Ares he got there with in front of um Hades. So and also, he thinks that he got, like, um, Hades, um, shield. And so they were able to get free because, um, they, were, they had, like, some pearls. And 
and Hades is the one that had um had um Percy's mom all the this whole entire time. So she had they had to leave her behind. Grover did not get left behind. She did, okay? I don't know why in the movie they had her leave behind and and um and um Hades' wife is not even in this park because it's not the right time of year for her to be there. Persephone. So so she's in the movie for some reason, I don't know. So for that part. And so they have he goes and talks to Ares like and asks him, What the heck? Why did you make me have the lightning bolt? And he ends up having the shield. And so he actually fights um Ares for the lightning bolt and the shield and to return him and he ends up winning by trick basically tricking him and stuff like that. And so he ends up returning it to um, Zeus by, you, by going to an airplane, which was probably not the best idea because if you go on an airplane, Zeus can just go strike the light, um, make the airplane crash and everybody dies, including per including Percy. So, but he had no choice. Oh, wait, because um, you had to get there for the summer solstice. Um, otherwise, it was like a deadline. If you, do, if you don't get there in time, war happens. So... And they were, they only, they were, that night they were there was the summer solstice, so yeah. And they, it, he ends up like returning it, and the, sh and the shield ends up going back to um, Zeus. So they end up finding out that Luke was the one behind all this, because a friend was going to betray him, according to one of the fates that he went to talk to in the book. And so, yeah. And unlike in the unlike in the movie, they did not have a fight. A scorpion, a, a weird scorpion, was going to attack um, Percy when he got back and, and and injure him. So yeah, so it was a pretty good book, and that's how the the book ends with him deciding to go back to see his mom after he um used Medusa's head to um turn his stepdad into stone, and so. And have like have a good have, have like a good summer. So it was a pretty good book. Um, it's somewhat a best way to teach kids about Greek mythology without having all the bad stuff in it and all and all inappropriate stuff. Because those mythology those stories can get pretty inappropriate and pretty violent. So I get, I think it's like the best way to tell them the stories without going into those type of details. So. Because they do still um, reference the older stories in this book, but I just think this is the best way for kids to learn about it. So, let's read this book. And so I'm going to give this book a um, 8 out in 8 out 10. So, and so all they give is a, oh, for pause! So, like, here and subscribe, guys. Bye-bye!